Hi, it's Alana with Small Batch Bath & Body Company, Etta and Billy. I'm back with my friend Molly, Hi. and we are gonna show you guys how to do a lip scrub at home using things you probably already have in your kitchen. All right, so to make our lip scrub, you're going to need brown sugar and or turbinado sugar. You're gonna need virgin coconut oil, preferably organic, and sunflower oil. You can also use olive oil. I like sunflower oil because it's high in vitamin E and um, is a lighter moisturizer and better for most skin types. So, Molly, first you're gonna take about a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil and put it in the bowl. Yep. One. <laughs> And it's totally okay if your measurements aren't exact. These are just guidelines. All right, now you're going to take um, and use about half a teaspoon of sunflower oil. There you go. Okay. All right, and now you're gonna whisk that together until it's smooth. Nice, that looks good. Do a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. And then okay. do a teaspoon and a half of the turbinado. Great. And now you're going to take the grater and grate about a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest. <laughs> There you go. And again, that doesn't have to be exact. Really, the lemon zest is mostly there for scent and a little bit of alpha hydroxy acids. A little bit more? Yeah. Do a little bit more. All right, so next step is going to whisk all that together. Okay, I think we might wanna add another maybe half tisp of Sugar, let's do another half teaspoon of brown sugar. Just because you want the grit from the sugar, and we're choosing sugar instead of salt, for example, because the crystal grains on sugar are more precise, so there's less chances of doing tiny little micro cuts on your skin, whereas with salt on your face, you can have that happen because the crystals are uneven. So now we're gonna fill our jars. Can you? Jar and a spoon. So this lip scrub will probably stay good for about two to three weeks. Um, you just wanna make sure that every time you use it, you're using, um, you've just washed your hands, you have clean hands, um, and you may wanna even keep it um, in the fridge or at least out of the bathroom so it's not going through lots of different heat changes. Mm. Beautiful. Look at that. Yay. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And this is something you're gonna wanna do about one to two times a week, not more than two times a week, just because you don't wanna over exfoliate your lips. Um, so, just kind of, we're gonna take some out of this bowl. And then just. <laughs> Oops. And it kind of tastes good, but try not to lick it off. Oh yeah, because it's sugar. Yeah, exactly. And like lemon and coconut oil. Oh yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, it does taste good. There, so we have wiped the lip scrub off our lips and we have applied some lip balm and I'm gonna recommend my own lip balm right now. Um, I developed my lip balm because my lips are super, super dry. So I think it works fabulously and especially great after lip scrub. And one more tip is if you do the lip scrub, then apply the lip balm and then get in the shower, it actually helps keep the moisture in your lips and keeps your skin um, much healthier all day long. So, super easy to do. And you can also just do the lip balm before you get in the shower every day. I didn't know that about yeah. lip balm. Yeah, it's a super helpful trick. Well, oh. if your lips are dry. So, anyway, 
Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Molly. Um, and we hope to see you back here again for more videos. Please feel free to follow us on all our social media outlets, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, at and Billy. And we'll see you again. All right, bye. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that's a good movie. That's a great movie.